I'm a KL girl, born and bred. So when I was growing up, um, I was this tall, awkward kid in school. But I immersed myself into sports. So I was a state-level netball player. And thereafter, modeling just came as a lucky break to me. Ultimately, what modeling did for me was help me understand myself better as a person and how to express myself. Um, well, yes, many passions. Um, I guess at the end of the day, I think it's about knowing your priorities and planning around them. Um, what I usually do is I usually have a daily things to do list. Just making sure that I stay on top of things. You know, I take time for myself just to get a little breather to recharge. So I'll probably meet a uh, best friend for lunch and then later on move on to the, to the job or, you know, for the next yoga class. I'd have to say my mum. So my mum always taught me from young to be very independent. When I used to remember when, when I was at school, she would tell me, why do you need a boy to carry a chair for you around in class? You can carry the chair by yourself. So I guess my independent streak just started from there. I also like uh, love Oprah Winfrey. I think um, her feminine energy is just very real um, in this day and age. And I mean, it's evergreen. But the most important thing, now that I know that I'm having a son, is to just basically um, try and tell him that you should always cherish women, their beauty and fragility, because ultimately that brings out a woman's grace. At the end of the day, even if a woman acts masculine, if you cherish her and be soft with her, she will automatically become soft. Oh yeah, definitely. It's definitely changed my perception in life. You know, now that I'm going to become a mum, uh, many things, especially now that I'm going through so many changes, you know, physically, emotionally, mentally, um, what I, what I realised the most is that always listen to that feminine wisdom within you. Um, I think it's about taking time to just be very receptive and then um, listen and ultimately then you take the action. So we might not know sometimes what we're doing, but it's important to listen to that feminine wisdom. And I think our feminine curiosity as women is a very unique gift. So always, always listen to your feminine curiosity. A styling tip for flowers? Well, usually when I receive them, it's in a bouquet. So I just usually put them in this, my favorite vase at home. Um, but other than that, I. I would like to try my hand at gardening. I don't know if I have green thumbs or green fingers, but yeah, I would like to try them someday. Yeah. But I think for me, just waking up in the morning and just seeing fresh, lovely blooms just, just really lightens up my day.